hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel with an other tutorial today we'll learn how to connect elementor with our acf plugin so how to make any section and uh, any page uh, dynamic by using acf in elementor so today we'll learn how to create uh, this and uh, this all the stuffs so let's start it before starting please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channels and thumbs up our videos so we need a plugin that name and ACF Pro. Oh, sorry, only ACF. So we type custom fields. Here's a uh, advanced custom field. So install it and activate. Uh, once they activate you can see here is the ACF plugin is fields group go to fields group you also create a custom post type by using ACF and taxonomies we our later videos you can see how to create a post types how to create a taxonomies but today we uh, talking about how to and dynamic field by using ACF so let's start it because we have already products so we can add uh, some extra fields in product and we can handle it by using elementor so we need to create a field group a new field group so uh, for uh, products we need a uh, elementor pro so let's start it with our pages so we need to go pages close it go now back to forum products need a create a create a field add a field type uh, field is according to your requirements it's a different type of fields so type the name of fields extra data so here's the type of fields we have our text areas and multiple fields so we can use according to there and uh, let's suppose I'm using a text area one text area field name is a uh, heading so field name here we can type heading if you want to set a default value you can set here otherwise no need of uh, default you can set a validation is a required field limit of characters you can also set a some placeholder you can also set a you can apply a conditional logic so if I have multiple fields we have then we can apply a multi uh, conditional logics so once add the field we need an other field let's suppose I am using image so image field name title image I, how we can choose our image we can set here title image is a name image array image url we can use image url or uploaded on post and all library you, we also using a uh, all library so title image and we need an other one url so we are using url now uh, or we can use our link so both are we can use so now I am using URL. So title URL, name of post, a field, set it, and save changes. As default set is post type is equal to post. So we need to set as pages, save changes. Once the save, go back to here. Uh, create a new page add new page here you can see mm, our uh, field type is a uh, extra data so extra data heading is here and this is <coughs> title and the title of image and URL. so add according to data so let's type the head heading test heading 
choose an image add image so uh, I am using this one and type URL here and let's suppose I'm so I'm using Google URL go back here add the Google URL for testing purpose and type the page title test new page so uh, publish so our page is published if I am view the page you can see nothing data is here so what uh, now we can add it with elemental our element is open so let's uh, make a some simple design uh, let me open one container we need uh, two container we make something like this we add tax or heading we uh, need to add heading so simplify it add styling little styling we need uh, something color like this text alignment we need a uh, center is a little big so what should we do we use uh, this dynamic tag click here so dynamic tag create a personal insights by popular data by various sources with artists and so dynamic tag is need a uh, pro plugin so we need a uh, pro plugins for dynamic tags uh, let's back to our plugins So I have already Elementor Pro plugin installed. So if you need to install, you can purchase from Elementor side uh, Elementor Pro plugin. So you need to uh, first need a simple Elementor Pro. So I have already installed. So I just activate the plugin. Elementor Pro uh, purchase link in description. You can download and purchase pl plugin from there. If you need a free Elementor Pro plugin, you should you, uh, follow our uh, previous video link in description also, so you get uh, a free plugin from uh, that video uh, of Elementor Pro. So let's the next step. So go back here. Need to uh, reload simply, and let me update this one because we have saved this heading. Now reload this per simple reload then. So now check again. Go back to here. You can see our, our dynamic tag say here. So go down, 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 and you can see ACF fields. Zoom it, choose it, and then click on here. This setting is open, and choose the key. Key is heading is related to heading. Select it and down. So update it. And so now it's a dynamic te text. So our next step is heading. So I am applying on here. Click heading. Click here. Go down, down. ACF field. You got it. Click here. Choose a key. Oh, sorry. Key. Title image. Title URL. Click here. So URL also apply so our next how to apply image if you want to add a background image click here go style choose here and choose here go down SCF image click here and click here choose our title image so image is automatically set as, as a background now styling of background so if you want to add a background if you want to a dynamic image in next box just image drag here place here choose a uh, go back SEF image click here title image updated now go back and reload our page you can see our now all the data is our dynamic so here's the data text you can see link on a uh, Google link if I'm click on link opening a uh, Google so it's a dynamic 
image is also loading because images are little heavy and my internet connection is little slow so that was a state to load the image so image is loaded so uh, next step uh, how to verify so go back go back to edit page change the text and image and url you can see it's a dynamically work so no need to update this one and also if you want to add some extra field like a description text area let's suppose text area if you want to add a text area so for description section description so i follow add it so choose the text area so you can also move its position beforehand image will save it our receive is uh, saved so go back to here page is loaded after loading you can see title description here test description so add some description like a text update it you can change your text heading a new page heading you can add anything according to your requirement just uh, for testing purpose i am just adding a uh, data so need to update our page is saved so uh, if we have changed the heading you can change your image and title so i'm just add change the heading so go back here and one thing is a description sorry no heading if we need a text editor drag after heading so click on dynamic text go back here ACF so click here load oh one second we need to reload this page uh, we need to ask little styling choose a text in center or justify text color we just add a need a green dark green little so typography you can change according to size of text 19 pixel and update it once the update we need to reload this page so it's showing uh, some error due to because we have not setting ACF so tire description so we need to set it here so you can see our description is important and just save it and need to update our page so everything is loaded it is uh, dynamic it's a uh, test and area so today we learn how to create a uh, ECF field and how to make a dynamic page by using ac feed in elementor so if you like our video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channels for latest and more content thank you